Hello and welcome. I'm Mensa Augustine. In this lesson, we're looking at the West African Examination Council, uh, Ghana, June 2024, BECE Mathematics Essay Paper, or Paper 2. I've done Paper 1, uh, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. So check the description or the comment section for the description to that video. Now, this is paper two, so let's quickly look at question number one in a very simple way. So, this is question number one, paper two. So, you have to answer four questions only. All questions carry equal marks. All workings must be clearly shown. Marks will not be awarded for correct answers without corresponding working. Wow, so you have to look at that very, very important. So if you are a type of student who has been asking for final answers and then provide them, that is what this clearly says. It says that marks will not be awarded for correct answers without corresponding working. So you have to work hard for the correct answers. So let's look at question number one. A, a fair die and a fair queen are thrown together once. Write down the set of all possible outcomes. Find the probability of obtaining a prime number and a tail. Okay, let's see how we do this in a very few steps. So, we look at that. A fair die and a fair coin are thrown together. So, for a die, we have the possible outcome to be 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and for a queen we have a head and a tail. So we're gonna combine what we have here to get the set of possible outcomes, and hence the sample space. So we combine the head to get head one. Head two, head and three, head and four, head and five, head and six. Wow. So here you get two and one, two and two, two and three, two and four, two and five, two and six. In a very simple way. So uh, this is the possible outcomes in a very simple way. Okay. So, we need to find the probability of obtaining a prime number and a tail. So, from the table, 2 is a prime number and a tail. 3 is a prime number and a tail. 5 is a prime number and a tail. So, the required probability will be 3 out of what? Let us count the samples. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 3 out of 12. That is 1 out of 4. So this is I and this is II. But what, I, what will I do to get the full max? What will I do to get the full max? So to get the full max for this, we need to write the event of getting a tail and a prime number. So um, event of getting a two and a prime number t two and a prime number right yeah a two and a prime wow a prime number because you have t two t three T five. Do not bring any and inside here. So I think uh, we'll be awarded a mark for doing this. And then here too, we need to write the sample space. That is the total sample space is 12. I think you'll get a max for this. And then to write this one, you just simply quote this one divided by that. And that will be very simple for that. So you need to write this. 
write this and then you go here i think you get a max that is very awesome so always uh try to write uh things in order to get the full max for the question answered now let's look at the b part of the question for the b part we have the map of a field the map of a field is drawn to a scale of 1 is to 100 the map of a field is drawn to a scale of 1 is to 100 if the width and the area of the field on the map are 8 centimeters and 8 centimeters squared respectively find in meter square the area of the actual field wow so here let's see how we do this in a very simple way to do this one we just need the length because we have the wood and the area so we just need the length so the length is simply the area divided by 8 and that will give us 11 centimeters so we have the width to be 8 centimeters and the length to be 11 centimeters wow so this is the width of the fold on the map and this is the length of the fold on the map so we need the actual fold length so we have to convert these to actual length so to do this one we multiply this by 100 we also multiply this one by 100 so here i'll write here actual length equals 11 times 100 to get 1100 centimeters and then the actual width equals 8 times 100 that gives 800 in centimeters wow so each um has been convert has been converted to the actual length so we need the actual area in meter squared so i'll convert the length here to meters and then the width here also to meters so to convert it to meters we just divide by 100 so here the actual length In meters will be one one zero zero divided by one hundred, which will give me eleven meters. And then the actual width because eight hundred divided by one hundred, which is also equal to eight meters. So now this is the actual length. This is the actual width. So I'll get the actual area equals 11 times 8, and that is 88 meters squared. Wow. We can also use an alternative method to do that one. To that one is the scale squared equals. Area area of field area of field on the map divided by the actual area or area of field on the ground. So now the scale is 1 on 100, so we square this, because the area on the map is 88, divided by the actual area, I'm representing it by AT, as the actual area. So this one will give me 1 divided by 
100 squared equals 88 divided by the actual area. So here, we get the actual area to be 88 times 100 times 100. That is 100 squared means multiply 100 by itself twice. But this one is in centimeter squared. Wow. So we need to change the centimeter squared to meter squared. Now look at this. We have that one meter equals 100 centimeters. So if I need meter squared, I have to write, I have to square this one and square this. So this means one meter squared equals 100 times 100 in centimeters squared. That is very simple. That is very simple. Have you seen that? So if I need the actual area in meters, I have to take this one and put it here. That is, I'll divide this one by 100 times 100. 100 will cancel 100, 100 will cancel 100. And we get the actual area in meters as 88 meters squared. I've not been multiplying because you are at uh, JHS and you're not using calculators. Yes, so if you try multiplying, that will also waste your time in a very simple way. Now, let us look at Let us look at the C part of the question. Now, the C part reads this. Copy and complete the 3 by 3 magic square such that the sum of the number in each row, column, and diagonal is equal to 21. Okay, so here, let us draw what we have there here. Wow. This one, oh, 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 no problem. Let's take it as that. So we have uh, 10, 3, 7. Okay. So this is what we have. Now, what do we do? Let us make here a B, C, D, E, F. Now, from the question, we said that each row, the sum of each row, each column, and each diagonal should be equal to 21. So we have this one, 1, 2. So we take 10 plus 3, 10 plus 3 plus A equals 21. And A will be equal to, here, 10 plus 3 is 13. We take 13 from 21, we get 8. That is very simple as that. Yes, I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Please, kindly give me a like, share my videos, comment, and let us grow the mathematics community. There are a lot of people who have been watching the videos. Uh, there are some of my videos. I have 24K, 35K, and the rest, but the likes are not coming. Uh, we also want to grow the community, and we have been giving you amazing videos. So, why don't you like the videos? You have to be liking them. You have to be sharing them so that... Uh, teachers too, you can grow. Uh, you are growing the community of comedians and other staff and you are leaving us um, uh, just like that. So uh, just share the videos so that we too will grow and then you also get enough uh, confidence that you are, you are there. So we have to be giving you the correct uh, videos. That's great. Okay, so we found A. Now, look at this. We can find we can find um, F, so we have 10, 17, and F. So we just take uh, 10 plus 7 plus F equals 21, and F will be equal to 4, because 10 plus 7 is 17, right? 10 plus 7 is 17, so if we take... 17 from 21, we are getting 4. Wow. So, you found here to be 8. You found here to be 4. Okay. 
So we can find, let's say, D. That is 8 plus 7. And what is 8 plus 7? 8 plus 7 is 16, right? No. 8 plus 7 is 15. So we take 15 from 21 to get D. Wow. So I hope you've uh, got the clue. So find the rest and leave your answer at the comment section. Um, this brings us to the end of the first question. So this is part one. Let's check uh, the other video to see the part two. I hope you find this one very, very helpful. Only like, share, comment, and let us build the mathematics community.